Chatter Cafe is a really great initiative which brings people and connects people to basically have a chat. I think the value of being, being able to connect, have those conversations with people that maybe you haven't seen for a while or people you just see every day but you don't get to actually sit down and have a chat with. It also helps particularly around well-being in terms of reducing isolation, loneliness and some of the key elements that really are affecting the well-being of uh, certain communities within our city. I think chatty cafes are an excellent idea. Um, nowadays we spend too much time on our phones, headphones in um, and we underestimate just how much human contact really makes a big difference. We have a particular table that's sat there, if you see someone sat there, they're fair game for a conversation. You know, it's great to come and have a chat. Really interesting thing about Chatty Cafe, think about it, myself and David, we work together every day, the majority of the day, we see each other a number of times, but when's the last time we actually sat down and had a chat? Just, how are you today? I'm all right, thanks, John. Good to how hear. You? I'm really good. The university works very closely with the city council. Uh, has done for many, many years, and this is a particular initiative which we're proud to support because it is all about how can we develop the city and the community working together with a better outcome. We think mental health and and connected connectedness among our students will be important to kind of keep in mind and thinking about. If you feel a bit, a bit down or you're on your own or a group of you, everyone's welcome for them to come in and just chat. And Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Look, we're always happy to help. For people who, who are lonely, who can go to a table, and if it's a chatty table, hopefully other people will go to that table and talk to them. I think it's a good thing. It encourages people to be more friendly. I, you only need to look at homelessness and all, all the, the things that blight us as a society. There are, um, unfortunately, a lot of lonely people. Yeah, we're hoping that this scheme will bring people um, just to come and share maybe their, some of their experiences that they've had, um, maybe living with a, a condition that is either incurable or complex. And for a lot of people, they can maybe come together and share those experiences through different methods, whether that's through art, and it may be a little bit as well of um, fun and laughter along the way. So we're hoping that our chatty cafe will bring something new for people who have similar experiences. The whole concept of a chatty cafe is really going to help us to engage pe with people more, but also create an environment that's actually really nice and friendly and welcoming to people. So for us, it only made sense to be part of this brilliant scheme. People probably sitting at home and they probably think, you know what, um, there's no one talking to you next door, there's no one knocking the door to see how you are. Um, sometimes, you know, you could just do a little bit of company. Yeah, I think, yeah, you can't beat the atmosphere on a market and you will not find a more friendly community than here. So yeah, it'd be good to get out. So go, go out, meet people, and I think you'll find you'll be coming back time and time again. Normally people come in for a cup of tea or coffee and, you know, just sit and talk. So it's nice that if we can have a designated spot, they know that actually they can sit there and not feel weird or out of place and that hopefully someone will come and join them. I do serve a lot of people mm. like, when they buy themselves or they want to talk and that. Then I will go off to them or they will say something and then I will stand and just listen to what they've got. We'll definitely put it on the Facebook page and obviously people who are front of house, so those of us that serve, We've got the sign up there as well, but we will point it out to those particularly that we know because we have regular customers that come in on a regular basis that we kind of know that this could be good for. We'll just reserve a table for them. We've got um, four cafes and we've got the staff restaurant and we've got a new cafe coming on board. I mean, I've got another gentleman that started to come on the evening. It's just, I'll have to tell him about it because he comes at like, three o'clock because he has to take a walk now for exercise. So I'll tell him to come in the morning. That'll be mm -hmm. nice for him because it'll give him some company as a widow yeah. as well. It is a really good idea. The table being here is close to the staff. So if they, if they are on their own, at least, you know, they can get a well, staff sheet or the staff can say, you all right? I think we use for patients because some might be in by themselves and um, maybe coming to, to a table where you meet other patients who perhaps so only the hospital can be quite a scary place for some people so I mean finding somewhere where they can find comfort in to, to the people are quite useful for them. Yeah, get a bit of support for each other. And it's tackling like a very big issue so it's definitely a good initiative to have. I guess one of the best ways would be to chat to people, make sure you're getting as much human contact as possible and I guess the table's a good way to do that. This one says store, it should work actually quite particularly well. We've already had a friendship group here 
um, which come every Monday. You do actually notice people sitting on their own having a coffee. I normally go up if I'm clearing a table or two. I'll go up and ask them if they're okay, if they're having a good day. I hope it will do, yeah, yeah, because we're going to go through with the team actually in the cafe and get them to be more sort of like chattanatta, so that means they can talk to the people as well. So I think it'll be a great partnership in between the council and Waitrose Wolverhampton. Uh, be good for our customers here and also our partners here to all get interactive with this uh, campaign. We, we just forget and we just enjoy with the uh, old people, old ladies, we're talking, we're doing like a playing. I can meet all different different people every day. We are cooking, we do everything together and I like to enjoy myself with people. That's a good That's idea really because good. see, mm. with the present situation, a lot of people are unemployed and all that. So if we can get them engaged into some sort of activities, perhaps they can move up and, you know. Integrating with the community in Wolverhampton is so important. And this also brings on new ideas to go forward. We're very much a cafe that uh, involved with the community. We like to encourage people to come in and chat to us all and so it really does bring people together. We have a lot of people who are quite lonely and live alone and so this is a wonderful place for them to be able to take part in the Chifty Cafe campaign. As modern initiatives go, I think it's a really good, simple idea you know, to, to open up sociability and community. We're not very sure of those things these days, are we? So. A couple uh, that I see um, at, at this centre and other centres that, that come in and want to have a cup of coffee on their own or read the paper on their own and uh, at tables like, like this on the evenings when the centre's busy uh, but they're sat there on their own and, and there's an opportunity for them to have a bit of interaction and uh, for some of our customers, um, a bit the older generation, might live a bit of a, you know, a, a lonely life and, uh, and get to meet with people. I think it's a great, great scheme and it's um, almost like signposting an area of our centres for people to have interactions, connections, uh, which almost like facilitates that happening. Uh, sometimes it happens organically, naturally in the centres, but having an area where it encourages that is uh, I think a great, great uh, initiative. For someone that's lonely and talk to someone, it's great for them. It's mm -hmm. great, to, and it's great to make friends with them as well. Mm -hmm. So I think this is really great. Because I think sometimes as well, people don't want to admit that they're lonely and I can see um, the difference just having someone to talk to. Um, my grandmother, I have her every weekend and it makes such a difference to her, her coming by me at the weekend. When she's on her own, I see the difference. Even for, for, even for my friends as well who in, are in need of this as well. Mm -hmm. I do know mm -hmm. a couple of people who are afraid to admit they are lonely. I'm a widow. I lost my husband uh, three years ago almost. Um, I do have a lot of friends and good family, but some days you may go out shopping or whatever you do in the morning and you go home and whatever time you get home, say one o'clock in the day, two o'clock, you're on your own for the rest of the day. So yes, at times you do feel lonely and I'm sure there are people who perhaps feel lonely all of the day. So coming to somewhere like this, I'm sure would help them out. We have lots of parents that meet here, that have met other parents here, because it can be quite a lonely time being on your own when you're on maternity. So we have lots of sessions where parents can come and meet other parents if they're on their own. Um, we have groups and things on, um, baby massage and yoga and reflexology, music groups, just things to get children socialising and parents to together. We're hoping that this table will mean that people know that they're welcome to sit with other people even if they don't know them and have a chat and a coffee. It's to bring people together and that's what it's all about. And I do find that people find, they find it very hard sometimes to talk and that's what it's all about. Encouraging people to meet together and if you chatter, it just makes you feel better, it enlightens you.